I want to speak on the subject when you feel forgotten. Genesis 40, verse 20. This is the story about Joseph when he was imprisoned. And in the prison, he interpreted the dream of the chief buckler and told the both of them in prison that Pharaoh is going to restore one and Pharaoh is going to kill the other one. And it happened, but after Joseph had interpreted their dream in the prison, he told the guy, when Pharaoh restore you back, remember me. Joseph was forgotten until Pharaoh had a dream. And why Pharaoh was confused about the interpretation of his dreams. There was nobody in the kingdom that could give him the answers to his dream. That was when the guy hit himself and said, I have done evil. He said, Pharaoh, I remember a man. When I had issue with you, you threw me in the prison. I met him in the prison. This guy has understanding of dreams. Pharaoh said, you know somebody that can solve my problem and you have been here since. He said, where is the guy? He said, he's in prison. He said, pretty guinea. A man that has solution to my problem is in prison. Scripture said that said, Pharaoh said, go and fetch him. First of all, they changed his prison clothes. They took him to the saloon. He shaved. They carried him in the official car. He entered the palace the same day. He interpreted Pharaoh's dream the same day. The same day he got a job as a prime minister the same day. The same day he got an official car. The same day Pharaoh gave him his daughter as a wife. He married the same day. The same day they gave him his own house. One day. One day of favor is greater than 100 years of labor. When this meeting is over, what you have been laboring for, Jehovah will bring you to your doubles. Who told you that somebody cannot sleep as a poor man and wake up as a billionaire? Who told you that? Who told you that somebody cannot come to church barrel and go home carrying twins on his stomach? Who told you somebody cannot come to church jobless and go home starting a job the following day? I prophesy by God beyond what you think beyond your imagination above what you can think and imagine the holy ghost will do it for you